Okay, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are still in Austria. We are going to show you a bit more of how I spent my downtime, how we do our media and what it looks like to be sponsored by Red Bull, how we tick off some of our sponsorship commitments and the media side of things. So I just arrived in Austria and looked out of my window from Hotel Jacob and was like, I need to walk down to the lake and just sit because it is so beautiful here. I'm really excited actually to be here in the capable hands of Red Bull at their performance center. I am sure this is gonna fast track my recovery like never before. And yeah, I'm just excited to get started. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of hard work, but um, yeah, there's no better time to start than now. So I was actually staying in a place called Fuchsel in Austria, which is where the Red Bull HQ is based. There is an amazing lake, which is around four kilometers long. And I was actually staying at Hotel Jacob, which is a triathlon hotel. There was actually quite a few triathletes staying there during my time, but it's definitely a really, really cool place. Somewhere where you could 100% go and have a training camp. Like the roads looked amazing. Obviously I wasn't riding on them. Apparently there's really great trails to run around the lake and you could swim open water or in the pool, which arguably is probably the most stunning pool I've ever swam in for the view. So 100% would recommend going there if you fancy a little European training camp. The weather was a bit hit and miss when we were there, but I've heard the summers are amazing. And if you're into skiing, then you can ski there in the winter. So yeah, a really, really lovely place, not just to train, but also I felt I could really unwind there and relax. And it was almost like we got to that point where we're on the kind of process of starting the rehab to get to the comeback and it allowed me really to just switch off my mind, feel super relaxed and actually start to go back to some form of work that felt like progress towards getting back to being that whole rounded triathlete. She my morning berry, my pretty little fairy got me a-okay. Oh yeah, making friends, I'm making friends. Oh, Going in. I mean, in a thermal wetsuit, that's no excuse. That's warmer than the tea in Cornwall, isn't it? I think so. That's really, really old Do you love animals? Oh, he's pooing. Oh, you're pooing? Oh my god. Oh, it's splattering. Really splattering, I mean, that's wonderful. Take it all slow. Say my name. Say so loud. So I was lucky enough to have a decent amount of free time. Normally as an athlete, when I'm training and racing, we travel the world, but I often don't actually see the place where I'm training or racing because I swim, bike, run, and then go to my hotel or wherever I'm staying and just rest and sleep and don't do anything. So whilst I was in Austria, I really wanted to make the time to actually see the area that I was. I wasn't on the really heavy intensive training program, so we had some time to explore. We were lucky enough to go to a place called St. Gilgen, which is very close to Fuchsel. Oh, 
Holly and I braved going on the cable car, which was a unique experience. I don't think I've ever been on a cable car that actually goes up a mountain before. Oh, this is where we drove. Oh, this, I remember this. Oh yeah, but I did not even see the speed up. I don't think a cable car has ever fallen off, has it? But... We've ended up going on the cable car. <laughs> just like that, it wasn't planned. It's just happening. You have no choice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have we done? Oh, it's too late to back out now. <laughs> Been one or two since I ran. Not very really sure like, about this, to be honest. You know what I mean? We've got to go quite high up. Yeah. I'm already not sure. I think I'm fine with it now, but to begin with, I didn't actually really like it that much. <laughs> oh, we're swinging into it. No, don't say that. It's actually going way further up than I thought as well. Do you think we have to come down? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the top. We couldn't see the top from there because it's in the cloud. Oh no. <laughs> But yeah, it was a good experience. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't that great, so the view definitely could have been way better, but it was still really cool. We actually started off below the clouds, went through the clouds, and then we're kind of above the clouds to a point, but there was still more cloud above us. We made it in. Now, why is there a net there? Why is there not a net the whole way up if there's a net there? <laughs> Worth it? I think so. But we haven't gone down yet. I think when I'm back on the land at the bottom, I'll be uh, happy. Back in the gift shop, getting the hat. <laughs> <laughs> I survived cable car. <laughs> One point five, so fifteen hundred meters. We were higher altitude than that. In, even in Cedar City. Wow. Before we even went up. Back down there. Back down. These, they were the original cable car, I think. Can you imagine being in that? <gasps> no! <laughs> oh no, it's a red one. Should we oh, wait for the yellow We're going in the yellow one. <laughs> we're going in the red one. <laughs> You're lucky I missed that. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Another place we went and visited was a place called Monsey, which is actually the place where they filmed the wedding in The Sound of Music. And there was a wedding happening when me and Holly went there, which was quite a big wedding. There was quite a lot of media there. So maybe if you're Austrian, you might know who was getting married. Like, were they famous? Don't know. But it seemed like quite a big deal. There's a lot of people turned out to come and watch the wedding. So. Comment below if you have any idea whose wedding that was. But again, really, really lovely place. They have an amazing lake there as well. Yeah, so it was just nice to do a bit of sightseeing whilst we was there. Get 
Yeah, so Lake Fuchsia is a stunning location. There's actually a bit of a legend or myth around the lake being so blue, and because Red Bull HQ is based there, people joke that Red Bull have put something in the water to make it that blue. We had a mix of weather when we were there, but we were quite inspired to do some different kinds of shots there, particularly for Roka, as it's a amazing lake for open water swimming. As I said before, it's about four kilometers long. They actually do a swimming race there in August. One year, I would love to go and do it. You can race the whole length of the lake. I believe it's actually about 66 meters deep, which in a race wouldn't bother me, but when I'm swimming around there, getting some shots for, for Roka and different media, wasn't actually buzzing that it was 66 meters deep. From that side of the lake to this side of the lake, which is 4.2K, hell no am I swimming over that middle section that I don't know how deep it is, I'm gonna Google that and find out. I thought there could be some uh, pretty big fish in there, but apparently that's not even that deep for some of the lakes in Austria. I think some of them like 300 meters deep or something crazy like that. So there was a really cool jetty that went out onto the lake. We did some shots on them. It inspired us to make a bit of a reel, which Holly's really good at making. So we wanted to do something cool with our media. And actually, surprisingly, it wasn't too cold. Like it was around, 11, 12 degrees in there, but I feel like actually from doing some time in our ice bath at home, I didn't really find that that cold. So that's one benefit to the ice bath is that I'm a bit more acclimatized to cold water swimming because normally I don't think I'd be able to tolerate it. That was a really, really cool thing to do. And I think we got some great shots. So hopefully you've seen them on social media. If you haven't, we're gonna be spamming the hell out of those on my Instagram. So stay tuned for them. You bet, you might want to stick around because we're going swimming. <laughs> Obviously, Fuchsia is where Red Bull HQ is. It really just feels like Red Bull, I think it literally was born there. So it really is embraced by everyone there. Like you'll always find a Red Bull fridge literally in every single cafe or restaurant you go into. But I was lucky enough to go to the Red Bull HQ again. I actually did an interview there one day and then I got to go into like the basement at the HQ where they keep all of the Red Bull athlete apparel, which is only available to Red Bull athletes. So we can go in there, a bit like a kid in a sweet shop, pick out all of the latest Red Bull gear, caps, bags, bottles, sports clothing, you name it, they've got it. It's such a cool place, like it feels like a really futuristic building and the whole area is really, really cool. So that was something fun to do. I was really, I guess, humbled to be invited to do one of the athlete talks at the Red Bull Academy, which was like a talk and a Q&A to all of the potentially going to be Red Bull employees. They like go through the whole academy phase and then they can be employed and work for Red Bull. The whole venue itself was really, really cool. It was an old military base. It felt like a university campus and loads of people turned out for the Q&A and the talk. I think the nice thing was there was some really, really great questions which we don't often get asked questions that really require me to think and answer them well and I think that was really nice I could give more of an insight into kind of who I am as an athlete things I've overcome before obviously this injury a little bit as well and just talking about my career in triathlon and, and where I came from as a swimmer as well so I think the talk itself was really well received we actually did an autograph signing at the end it's just nice to give back to a sponsor that 
is doing so much for me, not just when I'm winning races, but also at this time when I'm injured and they're helping me get through that as best as possible. Like it's such a unique experience to have that amazing team around you, tapping into every single aspect of what it is to be an athlete and, and things that need to be looked at when you're trying to get over an injury. So I feel really, really fortunate to have them as part of my team and it's nice for me to actually be able to give back a bit as well. So a real treat was that Holly and myself got to go to Hangar 7 where they keep all of the Red Bull aircrafts and we actually got to have a helicopter ride where we went over Lake Fuchsia and some of the other surrounding lakes with I think he's the current world champion acrobatic helicopter pilot called Hans. I don't have time on this Friday night Been sleeping with two eyes open looking for you For you Kind of girl who won't apologize Something cool in her oceans washes over you Over you And I'm just trying to catch her eyes The blue jeans don't fit quite right She smiles Yeah, she smiles He did some very, very low key stunts that like he probably wouldn't even call it a stunt. Me and Holly knew it was a stunt. Like <laughs> It was quite extreme for us. But again, I just feel really lucky to be able to get these opportunities as an athlete and to work with this incredible brand. And even getting a tour around Hangar 7 afterwards, getting to go into a few of the aircrafts and have a little tour and explain what different aircrafts have been used for, all the different cool things that Red Bull do. Like they're just, so much more than just a drinks company like it is incredible what they do and, and the things that we get to see as athletes I'm just trying to make a connection and in your eyes a silhouette I'm just trying to make a connection I'm not a man to walk away I'm not a man and this so this still flies yeah 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 everything yeah. that's amazing <laughs> Traveling in luxury, that. <laughs> <laughs> so apologies for that jump, that wasn't necessarily allowed. <laughs> egg! We found eggs! <laughs> yeah, Got your egg top on! It's almost Heinz egg. <laughs> Piece of photographer now. Let me get a pick. In a natural habitat in the world of egg. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this video of a bit more of my time in Austria. I hope you enjoyed it. We will have one more video on my Austria trip, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And if you haven't watched our two previous videos, then make sure to go and check them out. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Ha, 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 ha.